when I was a little boy, one of the first scriptures I learned was Psalms 23. And I remember my dad said to me, if you learn it, you get 50 cents. So I learned Psalms 23. I had to stand up and say it in front of him three times in order to get the 50 cents. Today, that's probably $50. I don't know. Here's the craziest thing. I'm so glad I learned it. Many times in, when I'm walking through the valley of the shadow of death or fearing evil, I just quote the scripture. The word of God have I put in my heart so I will not sin against him. Faith comes by hearing God's word. And what happens is many times when I'm hurting, I just quote, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And then he goes into four things. He makes me. Oh, I love this where it says he makes me lie down in green pasture. He forces me to lie down to rest so that I put my trust in him. See, when the sheep are lying in green pastures, they're not scared of the wolves, they're not scared of the bears, not scared of the lions or the coyotes or anything like that because they know the shepherd is taking care of them. But then he goes on and he says, he leads me. Oh, in 2024, he leads me beside the quiet waters. I mean, I just got back from Portugal where I was in the little town of Nazareth in Portugal where the largest waves in the world are for surfing, higher than in Hawaii. And, and I saw the waves and I thought, man, they could crush me. But Jesus doesn't put me in the waves. What he puts me in is the quiet water. And I need to let him lead me. But then he goes on and he says he refreshes my soul. How? By daily taking time to pray, not rushing it, but waiting upon him and letting him touch me. And then he says he'll guide me along the path for his name's sake. Man, I need him to guide me. I need him to guide me in so many different ways. Here's the key, are you ready? The Lord is my shepherd. I need to make Jesus my Lord. And when I do, then he becomes my shepherd. In 2024, how are you gonna get through it? Give it all to Jesus. Make him Lord. Have a great day.